So this is my authentic Baskin sign. And when I was a street artist in uh, Melbourne and Byron Bay, I used that sign. In fact, the Instagram, I changed it from Oli the Artist to uh, Byron Bay. It's like a word game. Byron is like Byron. This is a Byron. And um, yeah. This is a character I call the man who lived in the Kazansky Sabal. And uh, when I traveled in St. Petersburg, I came across a, a remarkable building, structure, called the Kazansky Sabal. And in my fantasy, I wondered how the man who lived inside the Kazansky Sabal, it's like a huge cathedral, I wondered how he looks like. And I thought he might look a little bit like that, and I used, I do it more than once or twice, I do it maybe 10 or 15 times. And I used to sell the men who live in Kazansky Sabo in the streets of St. Petersburg. This one though is more recent, three years ago, something like that. That's... So in this image, that uh, got some of Alperon's family oil over here from Habus. And um, you can see this uh, cowboy is holding a smoky gun. In the window, you can see Orion the Hunter. It's like a star constellation. It's the most known star constellation of the world yet. Yeah? Because it's visible from everywhere on Earth, as far as I know. But the funny detail about this image is his cap. Now, you probably think it's a beer pint, right? But it's actually, if you know Hebrew, you know that it's actually written on it, what, what's written on it is hot chocolate. So basically, our tough macho cowboy is drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> this image is just of a lion, and I called it a lion with no trainer because is, as you can see, in space, interstellar lion head is jumping through a ring of fire. But he have no circus trainer uh, to whip him. Yes, he just do it for his own pleasure. Jump into rings of fire. Yes. To this picture I call a wall in a tower. And to those of you who know a little bit about Israeli history, um, you probably heard that when they built town, they've done it with a wall and a tower, because when they've done that, the first Zionists in Israel, um, the British law said that they can't move a wall and a tower. It's so, true, yeah. But in my picture, um, it has no connection to the history, I just played with it a little bit. So you can see there is a man here, sitting in the tower room, reading some newspapers on the tower And basically, the tower is a bit like the man. You can see it has one eye, and it has the tower has one window with star looking a bit like night. And you can see that the wall is a bit like his newspaper. It, I try to show here how people who build a civilization, you can sense their identity inside that civilization. This is why I chose a wall and a tower. Um, because that's the seed of the civilization. 
So this picture, which I call Burning Man, um, after the name of the very known festival in America, it's in Nevada, I believe, or whatever. You can see a burning SS officer. And um, I do it because I thought to myself, well, it's just Nazis. Nobody will give a damn about that if it's a early Nazi. <laughs> Obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> and, yeah, I wanted to exhibit that picture in a few places in Australia. And they all saw it and they, said, they saw the collection I just showed you. And they always said, just not that image. It's like a provocation. <laughs> and there is a nice story. Um, a young German guy, he was, I just met him at that day, and he said to me, um, he was showing off with the fact that his grandfather was an SS officer. He was proud of it. So I just took that image out of the folder and said, hey man, look, it's your grandfather, he's burning in flames. You know? <laughs> uh, was the young man either uh, understanding or took that with a sense of humour? Just looked shocked that I dealt. Oh, another uh, another me, Nazi. Don't worry about him. He's all right. For me, it was a bit like welcome to out of Germany kind of thing. You know? Welcome <laughs> to Australia. <laughs> Who cares whether your grandfather's a bloody Nazi? Was he a good Nazi? <laughs> we cut that part. <laughs> to this image, based on a dream, I call the Star Lion. Um. I started this image while I've been in the Byron Bay Hospital, actually. I had tons of time. Um, and yeah, just all day long, that's what I've done with this image. Just based on a dream again, and uh, yeah. And Did the hospital influence you? Maybe, maybe. Like oh, in good. Like in forced time. Yeah, well, I have a lot of time. Um, it was a good hospital, by the way, I would mention that. They've been in few in my life, you know. <laughs> very, very, very. What, because of the food? Or the doctors? <laughs> the chicken parmesan. The chickens, oh, okay, I get you. Oh, that's good. And, uh, but the nice thing about this image is that you know, before I came to Australia, I wasn't drawing as much realism as I do now. And uh, this image is, of course, full imagination. I wasn't using as any reference at all. Maybe besides of the Jupiter, but even then, I wasn't doing it like uh, too accurate. But the nice thing is that the fur, can you close up? The fell is um, everything I learned in Australia how to grow hair, actually. Marsupial hair? I don't know what that means. Like a, a native animal? The, an animal, it can be a bird or a long hair of or oh, okay. whatever, just any kind of fell, you see. And that's something I learned. I really put here in this image everything I learned in Australia how to draw, you know, I used to be a street artist. That's what I, I've done mostly. So when you're a state artist, they want you to do exactly the same as in the photo. And uh, here I just done it completely from imagination, yeah? Cool. So this image came as a very funny thought I had while I hitchhiked in Finland. And I won't forget it. So yeah, I hitchhiked from Finland to St. Petersburg in Russia. And um, so that's me in my younger days, yeah. It's the same shirt, by the way. I can vouch for that, same shirt. Yeah. Same shirt. yeah. Directly, okay. from, directly from Finland to Australia. <laughs> it's a Grateful Dead uh, spec seal face type. And I had that very nice thought while I hitchhiked maybe for a few good hours at night time. What if a remarkable, unexpected 
creature, like as you can see in the image, um, would just block a car for me with its own body. Of course none of it actually happened, but as a fantasy I'm allowed, I'm an artist, I can have my imagination and I won't forget because when I, when I played with this idea, it came because I, it was the first time in my life I saw the Milky Way, see? And I even remember the moon was exactly like that, like a little canoe ship. And, uh, yeah. So, for la this is the last um, image. It is a trigger, yeah? And it will be the last image since uh, my cameraman really want to go to sleep. <laughs> Um, no, worry. That's about the fiftieth image. Uh, <laughs> this one's number forty-nine. You can count. Don't worry. Just um, twenty more to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, abusing our cameraman. Hurry up! <laughs> I'm going to go in for a, a close in. So no I'm gonna, yeah. And then you might edit this out because it really needs a close in to start yes, with. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to come back out. So from now, and then I'm going to give you move closer to the drawing, please. Yeah, okay. Now, move, move closer so I can come back yeah. in. That's it. So, to this image I called Dumpster Driver Bomb. Some of you might know this bird, especially if you're an Aussie, or live in Australia, or whatever, or just came to a trip there once or twice or three times. And that bird is known as the bean chicken, since it's eaten from um, beans, yeah. Um, when I discovered that the ibis, known as the bean chicken again, is actually an Egyptian god in ancient Egypt. Um, I decided to draw this image so you can see Thoth. The ibis god eating from the Aussie bean. This is how the beans looks like. It is a bit exotic, I agree. <laughs> oh no, we have exotic beans. You don't need to, you know, pump up our tires. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, there is a man, look a bit like a skeleton, drinking some shit. I don't know. And in the corner, you can see me basking here. And uh, yeah, I would say that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Yeah.